Ah, being bored of Fortnite, but we still play it because we feel like it's the only game out there that we can play. Well, now today, I will be proving that wrong. Now, a lot of these games will be from third-party sites. The reason is, is because not a lot of us want to spend a hefty amount of money on other games, especially since most of us spent hundreds of dollars on a free game. That's terrible. We always be saying Fortnite's clowning, but we're the clowns, dude. We're the one who spent hundreds of dollars on a free game. I, I just had to say that. First, we're going to be starting with free games. Then we're going to move to mid-range games that are like one to $10 and then games 10 to and up. So first off, free games. You guys would actually be surprised how many free good games there are, but these three are the best that uh, not a lot of people have heard of besides the second one. Number one is Osu. Osu is a rhythm game where you have to sync pressing buttons together on circles that have that rapidly approach. It doesn't look like an appealing game, even though when I first saw it, I had to download it immediately. It's one of the most fun games that I have ever played because there's like a lot of progression you can have having issues doing three star maps in a week you could be doing four star maps easily like there's like clear line of progression in this game that makes it really fun next up we have CSGO which was recently turned into a free to play game on Steam and it is such a fun game the death match in this game is so freaking fun and also if you want to do competitive you can do that too but I just like playing death match because I find it really fun and it's definitely way better than than any Call of Duty game. Number three is RuneScape. Now this isn't a game I personally like, but I see a ton of people that love this game so much and they love playing it, the old one and the new one, uh, especially my friend Aiden, um, he plays it a ton. So if you guys really like grindy type games, I would definitely download this. Next up we have Amnesia and a ton of other horror games because most horror games on the internet are actually free. These games are definitely definitely worth it for like a one-time playthrough that like you just want to spend like an hour or two at nighttime on the weekend and just play it once these games are very worth it but a lot of them are just like a one-time play kind of thing i definitely recommend them now starting in the games that are like ten dollars to twenty dollar range uh seven days to die you can actually find a ton of steam keys for these for like eight dollars if you get them on ebay and then other places you can get them from 15 to 8 18. This is my favorite game ever. You, if once you get this game, you'll immediately put hundreds of hours into it. it. It's so fun. It's a grind game. It's like if you mix the crafting aspects of Minecraft with like COD zombies, because it's like, it's a zombie survival game. And it's one of the best zombie survival games I've ever played. And I love it a lot. Next up is The Forest. I found a Steam key for it for $5, so I'll link that in the description. I haven't played this game, but I do plan on playing it in the future, and it looks like a really fun game from the gameplay that I've seen on YouTube, so I'd definitely just give it a try. It's only $5. Next up is an OG game, Plants vs. Zombies. You can actually get this for $5 on Steam. I love this game so much. I personally have it on my DS, and I've put so many hours into it there's so much content other than the main story like the main story alone will take so long to complete but there's like there's other game modes that you can play and it's such a fun game it's worth the five dollars next up is one i love cod world at war you can find steam keys for this for like ten dollars if you look it up so i definitely get it this adds so much content the campaign is one of the best campaigns in any call of duty game the multiplayer is actually really fun in my opinion um one of the my most favorite multiplayers and then the gold of it is cod zombies you get all four of the dlc maps for free when you get it um world at war and not only that access to custom zombie maps it is such there's so much content i'm just saying there's thousands of custom maps you should get it next up is one of my favorites torchlight you can get this for like three or five dollars on steam i forgot which one definitely buy this game it's like a quest game it's kind of like world world of warcraft in a way besides the fact that there's not other people you play with or play against but it's a really fun game and you probably never heard of it but you should try it now some games that are upwards of the 20 dollar range number one would be minecraft 
just Minecraft has been making a return lately. If you haven't seen, Minecraft um, is getting bigger than Fortnite now. It's obviously not as big, but Minecraft is like the trends on Google is going up while Fortnite's going down. And it's, it's really cool to see. This is obviously like an obvious pick you should just get and start playing Minecraft again, honestly. Next up is BO3, another fan favorite, and it's one of my favorites too. On Steam, finding Steam keys, you can get them from $15 to like $25, which is way better than the $60 you would have to pay if you bought it off Steam. I would 100% get it. The multiplayer, super fun. Um, and then zombies the best zombies game ever black ops 3 zombies holds some of my dearest memories and you'll definitely have fun with it too and there's so much to do in zombies and then custom maps on bo3 too so win-win so those are all the games that i had i just wanted to educate you on some really fun games that you may have not thought about or may have never played um i definitely recommend most of these games because i have most of these games and play them a lot um because fortnite's in a terrible state i completely like i i get anybody that doesn't want to play fortnite anymore but doesn't know where to go after fortnite so i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications if i helped you out and yeah, use code NerdPeerier in the Fortnite item shop. I know that's funny to say because this video is about not playing Fortnite, but just use it. Use it. Um, but anyways, love you guys. Peace.